Microsoft Excel and Google Forms, they are awesome tools to use, whether you use Forms or whether you use Excel. Even if you're not a tech savvy person like me, you can still use those tools in your business to succeed and thrive. So in this video, I'm going to share seven ways that you can use Microsoft Excel or Google Forms to be super organized and efficient in your business. If you are new to the Efficiency and Organization YouTube channel, my name is Rosanna Hernandez and I talk everything that has to do with efficiencies, being well managed with time, being organized in every aspect of life, whether it's your small business, in your personal life, in education, as a leader, you name it. So basically I talk a lot about planning and organizing and being efficient. And if that sounds good to you at the end of the video or sometime during the video, be sure you subscribe and also be sure to share the content that I am sharing with you here with others who you think that might help. Okay, so let's get right into this. What ways can we use Excel or Google Forms? The first way for me is tracking clients or having some kind of a way to say who your clients are and also who some of your prospective clients are. People that maybe you're like working on be trying to get them into clients that are not quite there yet. So if I were you, I would watch a video that I already created that got uh, quite a few uh, views. I will share the link to that in the description of this video that you can watch. So that way uh, I can move on to tip number two. But I would say tip number one where you're tracking clients is the most effective way and nothing fancy. It's just really Excel is a, a way to organize every part of your business. So number two is going to be for bookkeeping purposes. Again, I'm not a tech savvy person at all. Okay. What I do is once a month when I get my bank statement, my business bank statement, I look on there for the income that I generated and I put those on Microsoft Excel. Then I look at my expenses, what kind of expenses that I have, and then I put them in categories. So for example, if I have telephone bills, I put them there. If I have my office supply list, I put it there like paper, toner, um, and scissors, pens, pencils that I buy, post-its that I buy, I put those in a category. So it's super easy. And then at the end of the year, like come December 31st or January 1st, January 2nd, I just tally up each of the columns and then I know how to prepare my taxes, what my expenses were for each of the categories. For income, it's the same. So for example, I have two small businesses. One of them is content creation, which is what you're seeing here. So all the ways that I generate income, I put in a category. And then as far as my other business, which is more in the financial sector, like I generate money by doing taxes. So I have a category for that, like what monies I get from there. Uh, I do, I help people with their commercial insurance needs. So I have a category for that. So that way, all the income that I generate, I know where it's coming from, how much of the total pot is coming from where. You can use your Microsoft Excel or Google Forms on a monthly basis to know what you're going to post on social media. You guys, social media is big right now, okay? So you probably want to use that for advertising. I want to say it was about 10, 15 years ago that we really saw people saying, you know what, I don't need to do a lot of like paid advertising, mail outs, phone calls like telemarketing. Even though those are things that are still being done, it's not as much. Now people know so many millions of billions of people are on social media. What you can do is come up with a system, like what kind of things you're going to post when. Month, create a tab for each month on Microsoft Excel so you know what kind of things you're going to do systematically. For example, you could say every month, once a month, you're going to post something that's educational. Every month, once a month, you're going to put something that highlights a product. Each month, you're going to put one video out there that again talks about your product or service. So there are things that you want to explore with social media marketing, but you can use Excel or Google Forms to at least stay organized with your strategy. And likewise, number four has to do with calendaring. So in business, as a small business owner, consistency is key. 
you can't do something once and give up on it. Like you got to give it time, right? And so using Microsoft Excel would be so helpful for each month that you have. So like your January, February, March, April, say what you're going to do for the business. So you can say, let's say you're an insurance person, right? You could say, uh, in January, I'm going to highlight car insurance. In February, I'm going to highlight homeowner insurance. In March, I'm going to do earthquake insurance. Let's say you have a baking business. You could say in January, I'm going to do cupcakes. That's going to be like my highlight. Uh, in February, I'm going to stick to cakes. In March, I'm going to do cookies. So you can come up with different ideas for marketing or other things you need to do for your business and put them on the calendar on Excel. And it's so easy. You just create a tab for each and you go for it. The fifth one is for follow-ups. So you can use the same calendar idea that I gave you and for each month, write down your follow-ups. So for example, let's say you're a real estate agent and a client or a potential client has told you that they're thinking about moving in June. What you can do is go into your June tab and on there say to contact this person again, because if they truly are going to move, you contact them and maybe they're like, oh, I'm so glad you called me. I do need to put my house for sale. So you can use Microsoft Excel for each month to come up with your follow-ups. The next one is something that I do, which is your products and services inventory. So for example, as a content creator, I have lots of blogs, I have lots of videos. And so I have my own catalog, like my own inventory of those. So if I go to my blogs, I know I have all the titles and I also have like the links to each one. And then for my videos, same thing. So you can come up with your own inventory for yourself, whatever products and things you have, especially if you have like physical products. So for instance, let's say you're an Etsy seller, you're an online seller and you make earrings and you make bracelets and you make necklaces and you already have some that you've made. Great. Put on Excel for each one, how many you have. So that's your inventory. You're tracking your inventory. And each time you sell, you go and put it there. It's also very important for physical products. You have to be able to tell your tax person what you started with in the beginning of the year, what you sold and what you end up, ended up with, because that affects the cost of goods sold. So you have to have some way of tracking those. So that's why I'm thinking it's best if you use either Google Forms or you can use Microsoft Excel. And my seventh suggestion for you is again, something that I personally do. I write my business goals and my personal goals using Microsoft Excel. I'm a very goal oriented person because I want to live every day intentionally. I'm just, I like always tend to think that obviously everyone's life will end at some point. My life is going to end at some point and I want to use every day wisely. That's, that's just how I think of things. And so every day I want to do something that's meaningful, intentional. And for me, one way to do that is to have goals to work towards, right? So I have my personal goals and I have the business goals. I have my career goals because I still work full time. I keep track of those goals on Microsoft Excel. I have my categories, like for example, my goals this year revolve around finances. They revolve around my business to grow it and then also travel. And once a month I go into my Excel sheet and I see if I'm meeting some of the action plans that I wrote for each one. So what I need your help with is to tell me which of these you want me to expand on some more. So obviously I already have a video for the first idea that I shared, right? How to keep track of clients on Excel. But did you find on any of the others that you need help with that you want me to make like a separate video for? Cause I could do that. You just have to let me know. So go in the comments and say, can you make a video that expands on inventory? Can you make a video that expands more on social media? Whichever one you think would help you, let me know. And I will catch you in the next video.